Dong buddies, welcome to HQ Words. If we've never met, hi, how you doing? I'm the head of the Buddy Brigade, the millennial Mr. Rogers himself, Timothy Dunn, filling in for Anna tonight. Hashtag free Anna. If you want to be a member of the Buddy Brigade yourself, just find me on the internet and talk wordy to me. How about that? Here's how to play. You're going to spin a wheel and get a letter. If you have a super spin, you'll be able to get packs of letters or extra lives. To solve tonight's 12 word puzzles, use the keyboard to fill in the blank letters. If you guess a wrong letter, you get a strike. Use up all of your strikes and you're eliminated. I'll be here to give you clues, kind of like a friend playing along with in your living room. Okay? For every level you reach during season three, you gain an extra strike. Extra strikes? What is this, your lucky day? Do you have any extra strikes? How many? Let me know in the chat. And that's always fun to see. Anyway, I'll see you in a second. Brigade alike. It's Wednesday, May 8th. Ocho de Mayo. That's nice. And it's also National Receptionist Day. Nice. My favorite holiday. I was on holiday all last week at the Kentucky Derby and I had a wonderful time. Shout outs to all my new buddies I met in Indiana and Kentucky. I see you, Ann Smith. Your next bourbon and coke is on me, Aunt Patty. And to Kathy Taggart and her lovely wife, Robin, you owe me a slice of gay cake. Also, a special shout out to Twitter user Anna Roisman who is on a beach somewhere. Shout out to Anna. Uh, more shout outs at the end of the game, so stick around. And I do hope you stick around all the way until the end tonight because we've got 12 puzzles and you're playing for $1,000. That's a good chunk of change. 1,000 bucks will get you 67 mint juleps at Churchill Downs. It was expensive. Uh, my horse did not win and I lost 60 bucks. But I'm here to help you tonight because I want to make sure you are a big winner, buddy. And remember, Everything starts off, everyone starts off with five strikes, but depending on which level you're on, you're going to have more strikes to play with. So keep earning those points. Uh, and also, have you heard the word about the HQ Season 3 finale? It's coming up on May 20th, so you have just over a week to keep playing all the games so you can level up and win some big money. And you better believe I'm giving you a free letter tonight. So let's spin that letter wheel and get you that free letter. Oh, you know how to do it. Spin it up. Uh, I bet on a horse named Long Range Toddy. He had beautiful black and white fur. Do horses have fur or hair? I don't even know. My horse didn't win. He tried his best. And really, that's all we can ask for, right? Come on. It was fun. Uh, glad you got all your letters situated. So now let's get right to the winning with tonight's first puzzle. Now remember, take your time and think about the clues, but don't get too comfy because the clock is ticking. But let's all just take a deep breath. Ah, and let's just have some fun tonight, guys, right? Why not? We're playing together a little game, and games are fun. Woohoo! Okay, your first clue tonight is one of my favorite things. Cute dog. Go ahead and type the letters I, S, and H in. Some free letters. There are so many cute breeds of dogs out there. Some are from Australia. Some are from England. Some are from other places in the UK. Some cute dogs play fetch. Some stay right up by the net in a volleyball game, like this particular cute dog. I brought my dog with me to eat. That's time right there. Did you get it? This one was a, a good one. The Irish Setter. The good old Irish Setter. Looks like we have 112,000 of you. 623 got that one correctly. The other ones, you got spiked on. 13,000, you got spiked on. You got a bump, set, and spike. You got spiked on. Now, remember, tomorrow it's family game night here at HQ. Oh, remember when you used to drink hot cocoa in the living room with your aunts and uncles? You'd throw me an Afghan over your knees and play Scrabble with Grandma. Tonight, it's all going to be family game night related word clues. It's going to be a real fun time. I hope you come back tomorrow. Now, keeping it going, clue number two, you know what to do. Type for me this bold quote. Bold quote is your clue. This is an iconic line from a big Hollywood blockbuster movie franchise starring a famous actor. Here's some other quotes from this actor. Who is your daddy and what does he do? I eat green berets for breakfast and right now I am very hungry. Almost there. Bold quote. There we go. Make bold decisions, buddies. Here we go. The answer? I'll be back. Arnold Schwarzenegger, looks like 109,014 of you will be back. And we're saying, 
Hasta la vista, baby, to 3,923 of you. I don't know if Twitter thing is weird. A bodybuilder turned actor turned, like, elected official? Weird. Here you go. Puzzle three. What a place to be. I know all about this after some time spent driving from New York to Kentucky. What is this trashy place? Trashy place is your clue. And don't say HQ headquarters because it's actually very, very nice here, all right? And there are all kinds of trashy places from big places like the infield at Churchill Downs all the way down to the receptacle. Trashy place. I like some trashy places. I like some classic places. That's time right there. Now, this one is pretty direct. The answer, garbage can, a rubbish bin, a garbage can. We lost 32,583 of you. We got 76,441 still in the game. We're taking the, the garbage out. We're moving on to puzzle number four. Uh, do you guys like to travel? Have you ever been to the Pacific Northwest? It's such a pretty country up there. And so for puzzle four, tell me this, Seattle High Point. Seattle High Point. Seattle has great coffee. We all know that. You can also let some guy throw a giant fish at you if that's something you like to do. But this Seattle High Point stands above the rest. Give me some time to be quiet. That's time right there. Did you get the Seattle High Point? Let's see. The answer, Space Needle. The Seattle Space Needle. It's fun. I've been up there once, uh, and it was fine. It's like a nice vantage point to look at other things. We have 72,747 killing it. We lost almost 5,000 of you, and guess what? That's all right. Stick around to the end. Maybe I'll shout you out. That's what you want, right? Here we go. Now, the weather is finally warming up here in New York City, and if you're thinking about staying cool, like I always am, tell me this. Vest alternative. Vest alternative is your clue. Now, vests definitely save your shirts from getting messy. But if you're eating a fancy meal at a wedding, let's say, this vest alternative will catch crumbs for you. It's like the one for the grown-ups, the old heads like me. That's it right there. Ooh, some of you aren't going to be very happy, and I can tell already. The answer is cummerbund. Now, cummer, it's not cummerbund. It's cummerbund. Um... And we lost 32,272 of you on that one. Uh, we're not going to say the S word just yet, but we're getting close. Uh, and cummerbund means crumb catcher. So there you go. Uh, now, it's only May, but I had my first frozen custard of the year at Hank's Frozen Custard in Conneaut Lake, Pennsylvania. And I'm ready for more. So for puzzle six, riddle me this summer treat. Summer treat is your clue. Lots of different ways to treat yourself. Hopefully all in moderation. Please wear sunscreen in the summer. This treat is iconic. A true summer classic. Sure to stay in the upper lips of children all summer long. That's time right there. To get this summer treat. Ooh, man, I love these. Cherry snow cone, baby. That's right. I eat my cherry snow cone with a straw and a spoon because I'm civilized. We have 35,043 of you got that one correct. We lost just over 7,000 of you, but that's all right. Go get a snow cone. Have a nice night. You're the boss of you, okay? You're the boss of you. And I have some other news to share. Time flies by. We're halfway there. We're halfway through the game. Take a sip of your Coke Zero or... Maybe you have a popsicle you're enjoying while you're playing HQ words. I don't know. You're the boss of you, I said. Here we go. Puzzle seven. Let's go. Your clue is fresh gossip. Fresh gossip. Do you love that sweet, sweet goss? Give me the tea, sis. <laughs> this particular tea we're talking about is positively piping. And it's freshly brewed. The newest cake that's fit for print. Fresh. Grocery store. That's time right there. Here we go. Fresh gossip. Hot off the presses, baby. Are you a big tabloid fan? Looks like 30,288 of you love those trashy tabloids. Get the hottest goss. 5151 saying bye-bye, and we'll see you in the recycling bin. All right. Now, we can all use a little help every now and then, so uh, let me hear it. What is your secret advantage? Your clue is secret advantage. What you sitting on? Do you have any tricks up your sleeve? Do you have like a whole deck of extra lives sitting around and for HQ? Are you shuffling these questions on your own without any help? Good for you. But it's always nice to have a nice card on your side. 
a winning card on your side. That's time right there. Now, my secret advantage, my ace in the hole, baby. Ace right up the sleeve. Ace in the hole. We will have 21,904 of you ace in that question. We lost 8,788. You went bankrupt. And that's what happens sometimes. Sometimes you get a bum hand. You got a bum hand. Listen, that's all right. Now, I was beat when I got back from my road trip, so this is as much for me as it is for you. But for Puzzle 9, your clue is rest up. Rest up. It's important to rest and take care of your bodies, buddies. You got to drink water, breathe. Maybe you're someone who likes to take a daytime snooze with your puppy, like I do. Shout out to Tiny Taco Party, who's here in the studio with me right now. Being a very good boy. He's resting up. Doing this very thing. That's time right there. If you're resting up, you gotta get some Z. Ooh, I love a daytime snooze. 19,759 of you all are well-rested. The top of your game, crushing it tonight. We lost 3,138. Maybe it's time for a snooze. Rest that brain, you know? Now, it's always nice to hear something nice from someone else. So let's put some positive vibes out there and tell me this good news. Good news is your clue. My friend Katie just told me she's having a baby in October, and that's good news. She had her 12-week checkup, and she's feeling good. Her doctor actually gave her a bit of this good news, which is great news, really. Good news. Positive vibes. That's time right there. And the good news I'm talking about is a clean bill of health. Take your vitamins. You got to drink water. Take care of the doctor. Go to the dentist. I don't know. Get a massage. We have 16,935 of you taking great care of yourself. And I tip my cap to you. Now, there's lots of good self-care in today's game, right? Drink water. Get your Z's. But sometimes you just need to get someone off your back. You know what I mean? So for Puzzle 11, tell me this old school excuse. Old school excuse is your clue. Did your dog eat your homework, man? Did the batteries in your alarm clock die? Now, we're talking old school here, so think way back. Back before Venmo and PayPal were a thing when they could just pay you the money. That's time right there. Oh, I got you right at the end there. I like that. The answer for this guy is check is in the mail. The check is in the mail, baby. It looks like 13,942 of you are getting paid. The other 3,687 was lost. It was lost in the mail. Please send another invoice. You know what I mean? And I can't believe this flies by, but we are at our final puzzle for the evening. Man, I have such a good time doing this. Really, time does fly when you're having fun. And I'm having fun with you. So here we go. For all the mint juleps, for all the long-range toddies, your final clue of the night is watch it, buddy. Watch it, buddy. And I didn't even put that buddy in there. That was the real part of the clue that was written. Watch it, buddy. But sometimes you do need to redirect someone. People test your limits. People try to get you to do more than you've agreed to. You got to be assertive. You can be assertive and still kind, but you got to stand up for yourself. Maybe this is something you'd say to someone who... There you go. That's it right there. How'd you do? Did those fingers fly this along? When the answer for puzzle 12 is don't push your luck. And I have great news. 10,000 of you, 623 of you were in the money. You pushed your luck and it paid off big time, baby. We got a bunch of winners. Let's see who's on the winner board tonight. Congratulations to everyone who played. Let's see who we got. All right, little rabbit guy, little rabbit guy. Uh, 10 cents, a big old dime for you. Chad 1M, big old Chad Mosier winning a dime for himself this evening. We have Al Geo Champ, Al Geo Champ 07, bringing home two nickels for his coin purse or her coin purse. I mean, don't make any assumptions here. That's our game for today. Happy Ocho de Mayo and National Receptionist Day to everyone. Congrats to all of our winners. And remember, if you didn't do so hot today, the more you play, the quicker and better you get at HQ Words. So if today wasn't your day, I'm sure you're going to crush it tomorrow. And great news, Words is live every day at 9.30 Eastern time. So tune in every dang day and let's get wordy with it. 
Games are fun! Woohoo! And I always have such a fun time playing with all of you buddies. So why don't we do it again tomorrow, eh? Me and you, right here, tomorrow night. I've been Timothy Dunn this entire dang time. More shout-outs to my HQ Words Twitter buddies, Joe Taggart, the King of Silver Hills, Eugene, a.k.a. Eugenius, Scott Ahern, Braden Mills, Travis McWalter, and, uh... A big shout out to Bailey, the adorable doggo, who loves snoozing and purple bandanas. Say hi to me on the internet if you'd like a shout out of your own. Please send me pictures of your cute pets. I love that. And please remember, it is cool to be smart. It is cool to be different. And it is cool to be kind to each other. Take very good care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you all very soon tomorrow night. Bye, buddies. Bye. (laughs)